Good afternoon everyone. So it's a very windy day, I'm back on Worthing Beach. I'm hoping I'm shielding this. Uh, let's say happy Christmas and uh, a really prosperous new year to everyone. I think this will probably be my last dig of 2015. I don't think the other half will let me go out anymore until after Christmas. Well, I can try out my new pinpointer. Anyway, I'm on my first target. A nice big hole here. And I think I've spotted it somewhere down there. Look at that. Only been down here two minutes. 50p. Well, I hope that's a sign of things to come. Right, we'll move on to the next one. I'd like to say a quick shout out to uh, Jeff, Breathing Mad. Sorry mate, you had to work tonight, otherwise I suppose you would have come down as well. I hope you have a quiet one. Right, we'll move on to the next one. Right, it's taken a long time to find another target, but uh, hang on. Oh, right, it is on. It's out of the old with the look of it. Oh, hello. Hello, I can see silver. Put that away. What have we got down there? Oh, the wind isn't too bad, it's got a hole in it. What is it? Let's see. 1883. I can't make out who that is. Facing right, whoever it is. What's it say on the back? 20 something or other. Sun on that. Oh well. We'll have a look at that when we get home and see what it is. Oh, lost it. <laughs> Got it back. I'll oh, we'll put that in the bag. Anyway, Jeff, if you're watching, breed us some more. Woohoo! need pinpoint it for that one that's just uh, about 10 feet from the last one can you see that it's got a big penny oh yeah i'll move that then hang on it's clean that's uh george the fifth for the look of it clean up you get a date off it See that? It's 1921. Another pre-decimal. I'll take that. Right, move on to the next hole. Another target here. I'm hoping I'm not getting too much wind. So it rung up 37 on my quattro. I've got it on. Hello, oh, hello, oh, looks like another big penny. Yeah it is. Clean. 1919, you can see that on there. Jaws is again, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, oh, two pennies within a few feet of each other. Alright, move on to the next one. Well, this one I've just spotted laying in the seaweed. And if I'm right, I think that, you can see it is the electrical pickup of a bumper car now what the devil's that doing down here must be something from the fairground that got thrown out a nice bit of copper on the end there look sorry about my shadow in it so, and it goes round to the bit on the end so let's see if i can find somewhere safe to put that so i don't have to keep carrying it with me but uh, i will take that home well, that's if i can find some strange things down here Anyway, we we'll move on to the next one. Alright, we're at our next uh, target. Just dug a nice big hole there. And it's, uh, it's out, it's down here. I'll put it on down here somewhere. Oop, down there. Down there. Nope, can't see anything yet. Where is it then? Where's it gone? 
Yeah, it's disappeared. Oh, oh. God, this is elusive. It can't be very big. Penny. Yep, it's a penny. Oh well, it's a find. In the bag and on to the next one. Right, next target. Come out of that hole there. I don't have to use the pinpointer, I can see it. And if you can see it down there, look. Probably another penny. Yeah, it looks like another penny. There it is, another penny. Alright, on to the next one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Switched it on by accident. God, this camera's getting mucky. I bet that's all fuzzy now. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. I need a pinpoint, I can see it. Take that out and see what it is. Probably a 2p. Yep, 2p. Oh, I'll try and clean the lens up on this camera. Right, move on to the next one. Right, I don't have to do any more digging for that one. I got as far as that and it just uh, popped up. Can you see it there? That's, it. That's another 2p. Let's have a look. Yep, another 2p. Now we're getting nearer the pier now. The sun's starting to go and it's beginning to get colder. Right, move on. Right. It's been a while since I've had a decent target. I've had three or four lead weights. But uh, the wind's still getting up. I don't know if you can see that. I didn't need a pinpointer for it. It's only got 50p. Let's get up and have a look. It's one of the old, big old 50p's. Yeah, it is. Look at that. What's the date on it? I can't say the date. It's uh, got a big rush mark on it. Oh, we'll clean it up when we get on. Anyway, <laughs> we'll move on. Hey YouTubers, let's try and get a shadow off of that. This is a quick round up. We had uh, a couple of 50 P's, big one in the middle there, 1982. A couple of 2 P's, 3 pennies. Three old pennies. That one's uh, first one's 1927. That one's 1921. That one's 1919. Now that I don't think you can see all that well. I'll try and get a better photograph of it later. It's uh, Swiss. It's 20 Rappen, and it's 1883. And that's got a hole on top. Obviously, it must have come off of someone's charm bracelet. Anyway, there was an old swivel, the usual lead weights, there's a Gemini there, I think some old leads there, they're uh, brass, some of them are rotted off, there's an old coffin weight, some scrap lead, big chunk of lead that was moulded round something, that curved piece is lead as well, and a piece of lead cable, it's single core, looks like a live rubber cable with lead coating on it. And then there was uh, that big chunk I found there, you can probably see. It's uh, a big piece of copper cable. And then there's little, two little lead balls, which I thought was unusual. I've never seen them with uh, little brass fittings on before. I just wish my phone had focused, but uh, it doesn't want to play. Also, uh, I'll have to nip outside and bring it in, but uh, I found the top half. The actual electrical pickup from a bumper car. Uh, so you do find some strange things on the beach. Anyway, I'll go and snip out and get that. That uh, piece of a bumper car. Let's uh, try and get my shadow out of it. There's the spring-loaded piece. 
Top bit there's aluminium. I should imagine the rest of it's spring steel. There it goes. The curved bit. Try and get a long shot of it. There it is. So it must have come from the fairground. Somebody's chucked it in the water. Or it's come off the pier, I don't know. I can't remember if they had bumper cars on the pier. But uh, anyway, that's probably my last video for 2015. I'd like to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel and uh, to anyone that's watching this video. And it'd be nice if you subscribe and make a few comments and give us a thumbs up. And hopefully, I'll start making some more videos in 2016. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I wish you all a happy Christmas and a prosperous and healthy new year and hopefully the welly man will be back in 2016 bye for now